Hey guys, I'm Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to continue with the other transformation functions which is available in Apache Beam such as Latest, Max, Min, Samples, Sum and Top. So we will be seeing all these functions uh, and these transformation functions with practical implementation using Apache Beam Python SDK. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the first transformation function is latest. We'll be using this latest transformation function to get the latest time inside the element of the pipeline or P collection. Then followed by maximum. So max is nothing but to get the maximum value within each aggregation and then min to get the minimum value within each aggregation followed by mean. So we can use mean sample and top in different ways if basically if the p collection is a single um, is a single element we'll be using that directly or if it is in the form of our p collect elements in the p collection is in the form of key value pass we'll be using it mean in a in a way to get the uh, mean value of a key uh, mean, mean value of the key in a collection of our key and value pass so again i'll explain it in a bit detail so we'll be using mean transform for computing the arithmetic means of the element in a peak in a collection or the mean of the values associated with each key in the collection of key value pairs so when i talk about this this explains more about uh, mean value associated with each key value in the p collection this is nothing but the overall elements in the p collection followed by sample the same way sample also if you wanted to get the sample of elements in a p collection we can do that or if you wanted to get the sample of values associated with each key in the collection of key value pairs we can do that for next we'll be talking about sum if you wanted to get the sum of all elements within the aggregation in a inside the pipeline we'll be using sum transformation function and finally we'll be talk we'll be seeing what to stop so if you wanted to get transform finding the largest or smallest set of elements in a p collection we'll be using this top and similarly we can use if we wanted to find the largest or smallest set of values associated with each key in the collection of key value pairs so um, now we will be seeing how to implement it practically if you wanted to learn more about this basically i have given the resource links also uh, associated with all the transformation functions you can take a look at it so enough of the theory part we will now look into uh, how to implement it practically in google collab so this is google collab notebook basically you have to install pip apache beam using this command pip install apache beam i have already installed it and ran it and i'm importing apache importing apache beam as beam and i'm importing time this time is related to this latest timestamp so i have already ran the code so latest is like nothing but inside the p collection inside the data which we are creating you know uh, when we use this latest transform function we will get the data which is added to that p collection or uh, uh, to that data recently so i am creating using a pipeline with beam uh, dot pipeline as a pipeline i am creating a p collection in the name of pipeline mm, then i am creating a cops like item harvest so this is the data so 2022 6 7 10 10 0 1 so if this like i should get this data in my output when i use this latest time sum i have written a function uh, called to unix stem we'll be using this inside this crop item to get the harvest harvest is the basically uh, my date time value it has the date time uh, related data in this column harvest so i'm using map function to get the timestamp value to unix time like to get the latest timestamp and then i'm combining uh, this combiners we will be uh, ex exploring more about the combiners in the next video for now uh, we'll be we wanted to uh, get the latest time sum across globally inside this uh, pipeline inside this p elements in the p collection so basically we will be getting this data when i execute it i got this key item as this brinjal which is the latest time sum this has been added latest to this latest data to uh, timestamp in this elements in the p collection next we'll be seeing what is max so i have created beam pipeline i am creating a number 341 when i use this maximum element i should get 4 as my final output so 
uh, we'll be seeing more about what is combined combined pair globally combined globally combined pair key all those things in the upcoming upcoming session uh, now we'll be using this combined globally to get the maximum element using lambda function so when i execute this my answer is four the four one so the same way um, i can use it execute using min value also when i execute use using min i should get minus two the same thing combined globally elements min element so like min element and this is max element i told you so if you see this thing if you see this uh, document um min and maximum even min and maximum we can uh, get the values on a uh, key value pair so for that i'm using combined pair key so when i use combined pair key and maximum it will get what is the um like if this is carrot this has totally five totally it has three five and brinjal it has one and uh, uh, tomato it has four five three so when i use this combined per key maximum it will give out of all the keys which has the highest value it will give me that uh, value basically so this is the value which i get in output the same way when i use it for min so what is present for minimum value this one and this will be present so the same one so we have completed now latest max min and we have implemented using max in combined globally as well as combined per key now we'll be talking about mean mean value so mean value again i am creating a, a collection um, a, a data element data 3 comma 4 comma 1 comma 2 and i'm getting the mean value globally and this is my mean value combine as dot mean and now as i said earlier we can get mean value on basis of key value uh, basis of key each key in the collection of key value pairs so for that for implement that we'll be using mean dot per key if you wanted to get mean value we'll be simply using mean dot globally if you wanted to get per key value we'll be using mean dot per key so for carrot 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 5 divided by 2 value 2 key values for 2.5 and 1 and this is as 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 3 12 so totally there are three different value totally there are three keys on tomato 12 by 3 4 so basically all this value and now sample so i'm creating a, a, a data element and i'm using a, a sample sample fixed size globally so out of this three data we'll be getting like three random data so i'm getting this three random data and now per key also like samples dot fixed fixed size per key and fixed size globally sample dot fixed size globally and sample dot fixed size per key followed by sum so basically it will give me the sum value 7 10 and key value also combined per key so basically it will combine 5 1 and 12 so combined per key sum and finally we'll be seeing what to stop to get the top largest two element and if you wanted to get the smallest we'll be using smallest combiners dot top dot largest and basically largest per key and smallest per key so I'll, I'll give this Jupyter Collab notebook in the description link. You can take a look at it and you can play through uh, play through this to get more detailed understanding about this. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have any questions or any doubts, please post that in the comment section and I'll reply to it as soon as possible. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics and don't forget to press the bell icon. Um, I'll see you uh, in the next video with the new content. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.